Appreciate the report. And joining me now here in studio with more on this, Democratic Congresswoman Karen Bass, member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. And with a welcome to you, ma'am. You, Thank you. The, the bomb alert by bomb. That right. is an extraordinary way to inform, don't you think? Right, exactly. exactly. I, just, I looked at that. I mean, you draw leaflets, you make phone calls, but that other one is, as Richard said, it does not always work properly. Right. Um, let's talk about the death toll in da Gaza right now. It is well over 100 by the latest count. Uh, the barrage of rockets back and forth has not let up at all. When you talk about the U.S. role in this, what do you see as being something specifically that the United States can do that will work? Well, I think, you know, the United States putting pressure on all parties to say that there absolutely needs to be a ceasefire and people need to go back to negotiations. We know that Secretary Kerry certainly tried, uh, but I'm certainly hoping that those efforts will step back up again. But All of us hate to see this situation. We certainly do, but saying that, I mean, it's not like we have not said that before. Exactly. Is there anything that we can do to put pressure on leaders on both sides of this conflict right. to, to listen and react accordingly? Right, exactly. Well, I think that we certainly need to continue doing everything that we possibly can. I also know that the Secretary General of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, is going over and is attempting to intervene as well. And so hopefully that will at least stop what is happening right now. Okay. We'll move now to the downing of Malaysia Flight 17. Um, what is the latest that you're hearing about Russia's involvement here, be it directly or indirectly through the separatists? Well, you know, it, it is going to be increasingly difficult for Russia to say that they have no role in this. The fact that they are blocking, and the separatists are blocking any inspectors or the investigation from continuing, I feel so bad for the families that have lost their loved ones, and knowing that those bodies are just just sitting mm. there and that they can't be recovered is just a crime in and of itself. And so uh, I'm really hoping that the Russians will call upon the separatists who they support, who they are providing with weapons and training, et cetera, that they will tell them that they have to allow the investigation to move forward. There are reports, ma'am, uh, and not confirmed yet, but that intelligence has picked up this, this SAM launcher of these right. missiles that, that's thought to believe the SAM uh, Gadfly 11 that brought down the plane, that it has been moved from the location from which they believe it was launched and now is back inside Russia. Exactly. If that turns out to be true, mm -hmm. how damn is that? Well, I think it's very damning, but also the fact that this piece of machinery is extremely complex and that there really isn't any evidence that the separatists had the capacity to operate that on their own without training, without technical assistance from the Russians. So we know that they have a vested interest in not letting the world know their direct involvement. Now, I'm sure when I go back uh, to Washington and we have session on Tuesday on the Foreign Affairs Committee, I'm sure we're going to be hearing from this Russian right away. If there's not hearings or briefings, I'm sure we're going to get involved. There is one confirmation of, a, of an American death here, a right. dual citizen with, with Dutch citizenship. Um, how extensive should the United States' role be here in terms of punitive measures against whomever is responsible? Well, I think that we should do all that we can, and in fact, the president now expanding sanctions, I think, will have a definite impact. Of course, for those sanctions to really mm. have the full impact, it right. has to have the European participation. But he's extended it quite a bit further than what he did originally. And to the extent that, that Europe will get involved and extend sanctions as well, how hopeful are you that they will do that? Because as you're saying, it will not be as effective without Absolutely. them coming all on board. That's right. Well, I know that they have extended it further. But um, they absolutely are going to have to be at the table for it really to have the impact to uh, have the Russians take a step back from where they are and, now. And how do you quantify a proportional response to a tragedy like this? How do you go about doing that? Well, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that you can because I couldn't imagine we uh, or even the Ukraines having retribution for this. This was such an egregious act, a crime against the entire world for people to feel that you can't even fly safely in a commercial plane. And so I think that the real impact is going to have to be for the separatists to stop, for there to be a ceasefire and negotiations to begin, and for Russia to play a constructive role. All right, Democratic Congresswoman from my hometown of Los <laughs> Angeles, Karen Bass, it's always good to see you. Thank you for Thank joining you. me. Thanks for having me. Dutch citizen.